Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk about um, turning a mono track into a stereo track. It's uh, a simple trick that, uh, or technique, it's not really a trick, that you'll need to know if you want to make your instruments sound fuller. Uh, sometimes you might want a mono instrument, but uh, many times you want a stereo image. You might not have two microphones, and if you don't, this is a great way to do it. Um, what we have here is we have acoustic guitar and it's mono. I've got it all EQ'd and I've got uh, um, everything done on it except it's just not sounding full enough. It's in the middle. I mean I could pan it you know, but All right, it's fine if it's just an accent instrument, but I want this to be like the the soundscape out in the re left and right channel with the vocal in the middle, right? So in that case, what I can do is I can create a pseudo stereo effect pretty easily with this guitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this track with events. Okay. That basically creates another one. Okay, I'm going to call this one left. L. And this one right. Okay, so now you say, all right, I've got two channels. I can pan one to the right, pan one to the left, and let's see what that sounds like. Ah, still in the middle. That's because the notes are being played at the exact same moment in time, and there's no separation. The way we get that separation is by delaying one of the tracks. Okay, And we can do that one of two ways. We can delay one track by anywhere from 14 to 18 milliseconds, or we can split the delay between both tracks and don't forget this is going to be in time with the drums and bass and everything else in the song right so we can split the delay between the two tracks so let's say we wanted a total of a 14 millisecond delay which is usually about what I use and what most people use on track one what I would do is I would go plus seven milliseconds so it's moving at seven milliseconds that way okay out in time and then on track two I would go minus seven milliseconds so you can see I can change that right by hitting the info button and I can go to delay and I can add delay to a track okay now that I have seven milliseconds forward on this one and seven milliseconds reverse on this one when I play these two tracks together and I have them panned left and right you'll hear a big difference. Okay, there's your stereo sound. So that's a real simple way, and I'm sure on any DAW you use, you can do this. I happen to be using uh, Studio One to do it. It's pretty easy. Um, but GarageBand, Pro Tools, Logic, any DAW, this is something that you'll use quite a bit, especially if you don't have, you know, two microphones. Okay, so hope this was helpful. Uh, please uh, comment and subscribe and uh, spread the word about uh, my uh, YouTube channel, if you will. And thanks for watching.